Well, St. Vincent of Pilate Ballet Folklorico is celebrating its 58th anniversary, and today they put on their first large-scale production with lots of color and culture for our community to enjoy. And that's after canceling three times because of the pandemic. The cast has been rehearsing since June of 2019. KTAB reporter Yaro Roberto was at the Paramount Theater tonight to bring us the details. Vanessa Rodriguez started dancing when she was three years old. Um, originally, I went to my dad's competitions when he was a dancer growing up. And when I saw it when I was little, I was like, wow, I really want to do that. So it really just sparked something in me to kind of start something. And the St. Vincent's Ballet Folklorico Mi Tierra Mexicana is her first show as a performer. I'm really excited. It makes me very proud. It makes me, I guess you could say, excited because as much as I know about it, I'm always learning more about it and just seeing more. And it's. I think it's crazy. It really is crazy and it's like an honor. It's an honor to keep doing this. The Ballet Folklorico narrates how Mexico progressed throughout the century since the natives with dances from Los Concheros. What they're going to take away is the history, learn more about the culture. And then moving on to cities like Nuevo León, Guerrero, Veracruz and Jalisco. Which are the staple dances of Mexico. I think it just shows a lot about how our people are and like our personalities and where we just we came from and what our traditional wear was. Uh, I would never be able to do that. Um, it's very energetic and for them to go up on stage and be able to do that is, is pretty amazing. The dancers have been preparing for the show for two years and after countless hours of rehearsal and workshops. It's finally here. It paid off. I think the kids uh, have worked really, really hard. I am beyond super proud of them. Sharing with the Avalon community what they love as well as their culture and traditions. <laughs> In Abilene with coverage you can count on Yara Roberto KTAB News. Thank you, Yara. If you missed the show tonight, you can still go tomorrow night at 7 p.m. You can get your tickets at the entrance of the Paramount Theater.